what is going on welcome to my class setup video in today's video we are going to be doing the Amelie or Amelie or whatever you want to call this gun uh, it is a light machine gun so um, some of the classes you may think why have you done that why have you done that but um, I am going to be explaining why I've done absolutely everything I am going to be telling you guys why I've done this why I've done that so uh, as usual we will have a chem class assault support rush and a hidden class for this gun uh, I don't use any cameras because it may like come across as me boasting if I've got gold on a gun or if I don't have gold on a gun it may seem like oh you're terrible so uh, this just keeps it neutral if I don't have a camo uh, but anyway jumping straight into the class setups uh, for the chem class we've got the Amelie or Ameli whatever you want to choose take your pick I'm going to call it the Ameli um, I've got the suppressor so that you stay off the minimap when shooting got the ball grip because this gun does kick a tiny bit but um, that grip makes it like little to non kick so uh, that does really help um, I found that it helps me at long range and medium range short range it doesn't really make that much of a difference because you're going to be fairly accurate anyway so that's why I've got that there for medium to long range uh, for the purpose I've got ready up because it is a pretty heavy gun as you can see from the picture I'm just moving my guy around now uh, look how big that gun is, how hard would it be to pull that gun up fast. That's why ready up there, your weapon's ready to shoot faster after sprinting. Uh, I've got a side of ammo because it's got a big box for ammo. Uh, you've got about 100 bullets in a mag, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm going to have to check that. But um, it does take a while to reload like it does with any uh, light machine gun. So side of ammo does speed that up, especially if you're getting close to a can. You don't want to be spending all the time in the world just reloading so a side of hand does come in handy it's better to have that from the start rather than later on uh, dead silence so that you can't be heard when running around with this gun because uh, if someone does hear you you're not really going to be able to get that far before they catch up to you as it is a really heavy gun uh, amplify uh, when say people do hear you if you're using amplify you will be able to hear them coming up behind you or from the side of you or whatever using amplify so that's why I've done that and also when you're getting close to your chem or whatever it is that you're going for with this specialist setup, uh, you will be able to hear them when they're coming close to you. So uh, it helps all around like that. Focus from medium to long range once again. When you're being shot at, it reduces a flinch when you get shot. So it keeps you even more accurate. And with a light machine gun, uh, the damage will be really high. So it takes a lot less bullets uh, wasted. So with all it'll give you about four mags worth which will last you really long time uh, it will last you up until your 16 kill streak at least that's why I've got scavenger in 16 uh, and when you get on your 16 kill streak all it takes is pick up one scav pack and it should give you a full magazine of ammo so you won't really need to do much running with this gun for ammo when you're getting close so that's always a bonus uh, so anyway moving on to the strike package which is specialist obviously I would recommend using specialist if you're going for a can strike but um, I'll get into that later on. Um, well, obviously you need more perks. The more perks you've got, um, the more efficient a killer you'll be. So I've got Dead Eye because with this gun with the already high damage, uh, Dead Eye will make it even more powerful. Than take the enemies down in a lot less bullets, and the closer you get to your chem streak, the easier the enemies will be dropping. So that's why I've got that there. Stalker, so that when you are aiming down sight, you will be able to move fairly quick while aiming down sight. Uh, say you're being shot at by an enemy, you can like move, dodge bullets or whatever with that. That really helps. Off the grid, so the sack comes won't be able to give away your position because as it is a heavy gun, you will be seen on the uh, radar if the enemy are using sack comes and they'll see you there. Then you won't have that much time to get away from that place where you were. So they will be catching up to you as you won't be able to run too fast. Um, in the bonus at 16, uh, scavenger. I've already explained that. I see you so that you regenerate your health a lot quicker if you are being shot at. Ping so that when you kill an enemy the, on the minimap, the uh, mini radar as if it's a motion sensor will be pinged off, as it says in the name of the perk, um, get revealing enemy positions nearby. So that will also help you a lot when you're getting on a bit of a kill streak and hard line so that you get a camp earlier. And also so that every assist, every two assists already count as a kill towards your uh, chem strike. So if you do manage to shoot at someone but they run just around the corner out of cover and the teammate finishes them off. That happens twice and that counts as a kill so you could end up getting like 22, 23 kill chem strike. So that's always a bonus. 
Moving on to the assault, we have Suppressor and Fall Grip once again for exactly the same reasons. Um, ready up, same reason once again because it does it is a heavy gun. It's going to be hard to pull it up quick, so that does help really, really well. Uh, Set of handles, so same dialogue, but you don't want to be spending all your time reloading when you want off the helo pad or Loki or whatever it is you go for. Um, agility, so that you move around a lot faster from place to place with this gun. I say it's a heavy gun, sadly, so that when you are moving around place to place pretty quick, the enemy won't be able to hear you. And in this, we've also got the scavenger, so that like, uh, you can get a few kills. I think it starts off with two max. Like, you're obviously going to run over your dead teammates' bodies, so you will be picking up scat packs. Um, so that will also help you there. We'll get you to pull out in pretty much no time. I'm focused on the end so that you can keep active as well. You can shot at and more shooting at an enemy. That really helps. I would, uh, like, I don't really want to push towards a certain strike package. Like, uh, obviously, it's an assault strike package, but uh, it's completely to you and what you're confident with, so what streets you should put on, what type of game style you use, or what type of gameplay you play. Uh, like, if you want Depend on the player, then obviously it would be like IMS, which would think like that, but if you bother like a kill horde, you'd be using the healing pilot or whatever. So that's there, it's completely what you feel comfortable with, whatever you're used to. So I'll leave that for you to do that. Or a more defensive player, so that's why that's clear also for you to decide. Grip and suppressor, extra accuracy remain off the minimap. Uh, also got ready up, pull the gun up quicker, sleight of hand so that you can reload quicker, agility move round a lot faster. Dead silence can't be heard, scavenger so that you can pick up the bullets. Um, it's more efficient to be using scavenger than bully loading because on a support a support uh, loadout you are more likely to be running around a lot more rather than like hanging back because when you do die the street carries on throughout death. So scavenger is more efficient in that sense. Um, also, the focus once again, same reason you can reduce weapons very well, aiming down to sights and being less flinch when shot. As you can see there, it's zooming across. Um, so yeah, that's the support class. For the rush class, um, we have the melee with muzzle brake for that extra damage and grip for the extra accuracy. We've also got a secondary here, which is the M9A1 with a Kimbo, so that if you do run out of bullets. And you do need to reload, but you are sort of like situation. Uh, you can so you can run. And also, we've also. Plus, I would recommend using support highly. Also, once a minute.
combination. The uh, noticing them quite a lot of team players and weather and. that be gameplays, class setups, or just 